Hi, thanks for using my court coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor as we discuss the responsive declaration to application to set aside support order. This is also known as the FL365 form. Um, as always, when filling out one of these court forms, you wanna fill in all your case information uh, as identified above. Um, the next lines you need to fill out are the hearing date, time and department where the hearing will be taking place. This can be found on the FL360 form that you were likely served with and which has prompted your response to this action. You have a couple options. You can either mark the box that says you consent to the set aside of the support order. That's if you are not disputing the set aside request. On the other hand, if you do dispute it, then you want to mark box number two, which says I do not consent to the set aside of the support order. You would also want to fill out box number three um, and that is where you're going to list your explanation for why you do not believe the set aside order is appropriate. If the uh, space that's provided here is not enough for you, you're welcome to attach a separate sheet of paper, write supporting information continued at the top of it, and that will be considered as part of your overall response to the request. Um, finally, as with all court forms, you want to sign and date the form. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.